Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here and today I'm going to show you how to build my executive walk-in shower for your Fallout 76 camp. So let's jump on in. So start out by building you this plus sign with your foundations. Notice the different colors of the frames and that's just to outline where our shower is going to be. The white tiles are where our bathroom footprint are going to be. Now start by placing these half walls on three edges of the center foundation and then destroy them with your flamethrower. Now place another set of these in the same location but flipped where the wall is facing the other direction and that's going to allow you to have double sided wallpaper on either side. Now go ahead and destroy these. You should have something that looks like this now. Now moving on, we need to put in a wall that's going to be the front end of our shower. So build yourself some stairs, a half floor and another set of stairs down, place a blueprint, remove our stair scaffolding, and then move these foundations forward so you have that hole, and then go ahead and place a wall. Now it won't let us remove this wall at this point because they patched that out. So go ahead and place another wall, build some roofs going to it, the one that we want to remove the foundation for. And now we can remove that foundation, remove those roofs, and then move our foundations back into the original starting place. Now I do recommend at this point to go ahead and put a curtain door into this wall door frame. You can put it in later, but it is a bit of a pain, so I recommend doing it now. I do leave it out of the rest of the video uh, because it gets in the way of you seeing what I'm doing. Uh, but edit that doorway into a solid wall before destroying it. And then you should be left with a open wall frame and the shower curtain floating there. Now go ahead and place some foot lockers all the way flush with the front of that wall we just placed and destroyed. And then set some in the back all the way to the edge of the foundation. We are going all the way to the edge. And it is very important that these be placed with the spacing I'm telling you, or else later they're going to collide with things. All right, so go ahead and place some side ones all the way flush with the very front of that wall frame that we built and destroyed. So now you should have something that looks like this in your camp build. Now take the same foot locker, line it up to where it looks like it's gonna be in line with the edge of the side foot lockers, and then just push it up onto the foot lockers on the front and do the same for the back. And also just make sure that these aren't going too far over and touching the side foot lockers. Uh, we're going to now merge these foot lockers that are stacked on each other together. And we're going to do that using this pressure plate. So stand on the pressure plate, place the bottom foot locker. You'll notice that it jumps and that it slowly merges with the top foot locker. Do this until they're completely merged together and then take it and fill in the gap. So if you space this correctly when you placed it on top, you should get a very nice clean look as this fills in the gap. If you aren't happy with the results, you can always just store them, place them again, and try again. Uh, but get the alignment the way you want now uh, so you aren't unhappy with your finished shower when we're done. And do this for all four corners and fill in each one of those gaps. Okay, now that we've got all of those together, you should have something that looks like this with some small little corner gaps in the very back, but you'll never see those when we're finished. So grab yourself this little shelf Go all the way to the back. We're going to build the back wall. So put it flush with the front of these uh, foot lockers on either side. Leave the center for last. Now I'll try and put the center here. Now it, It's probably going to tell you that it needs support. And the reason it's telling you that is because it overlaps with those two side ones. So we're going to destroy those two side ones to get our center shelf in place to complete our back wall. You get it all aligned the way you want to, and now you're good to go. You should have something that looks like this at this point of the build. 
And I'll place one on the side, the same shelf that we used before, and try and line it up with the back of these back wall shelves. And then grab yourself some conduit and place them on top of another shelf like you see here. These are going to become the knobs of our shower. So, you know, the normal knobs that you would make hot and cold. So place them to where the little lip of the uh, conduit is barely sticking out. And then merge them until you get to this uh, panel, about the middle of this panel of the back of the shelf. Then come and place another one on the top. This one you want the lip to just barely, barely be sticking over the edge of the shelf. And then merge again until these bottom ones are about to the level of that bottom piece of metal stripping. And then place it on the other side of your shower. Now this is where your shower knobs and shower head are going to be. So put it on whatever side you would like that to be on. And then go ahead and flamethrower the back two side shelves. And then go to either side and then move the shelf all the way to the back corner until it turns red. And then just nudge it forward until it turns green again. You want to do this because it's going to slightly merge these with that back set of shelves. And we then destroy the two side ones. And by doing this, we've given ourselves some space to put in the final piece of the shower infrastructure, and that are these lockers. Go ahead and turn these to where the door of the locker is facing the outside wall panels, and then line it up to where there's no gap between it and this side little door frame or wall frame. It should probably slightly merge with the side bookshelf. And then make sure it's also aligned uh, evenly with the front of your foot lockers. If you place the placement the way I said to throughout the build, you won't have any trouble getting these in. Otherwise, you may need to adjust the, uh, the placement of your shelving so that you can fit these in. Now, I mentioned you could put in the door towards the end if you didn't do it when I told you to the first time. So if you didn't, Flamethrower all of the bottom uh, foot lockers, and then repair your front wall that we placed. Change that to a door frame. Go ahead and make it a glass door frame at this point, and then you can put in your curtain door. But this only works if you have enough space to destroy those bottom foot lockers, which is why I recommend putting it in th in the first place early in the build. So repair everything, and you should have a structure that looks like this. Let's go ahead and put our shower head in place, attaching it to that top conduit we merged. I'll go ahead and put some wallpaper on so you get an idea of what we're working with now. Uh, but you can see that the shower is coming together nicely. And the last little bit of detail we need to put in our, uh, is a roof because you don't want people just jumping in the shower from above. So place yourself a wall, put us a roof on top. Make sure that the wall or roof will edit to where it pivots in the center so that you can put an angled roof attached to it. And then you can edit those flat. And now you have a roof on top of your shower. So now your walk-in shower is complete. All you have to do is build the rest of your restroom and you're on your way. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content for Lab Administrator Gaming. Got more how-to videos on the way. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.